okay, I've been asked, and so I'm going to create this little tutorial to help people who print out a print, then realize it's too thin. They don't like it because it's too floppy, and they want it to be a little thicker. It's actually really easy to upgrade this in Hueforge itself to make it thicker, um, but a lot of people don't understand what some of these terms are and what they mean, and so I'm going to walk through it. So over in the Model Geometry tab, wherever you have it, though this is the default location, the min depth is the thickness before it starts making the filament painting. So this can be also thought of as the minimum thickness, and I will change this label to that at some point in the future. Um, this is going to be in a, in a release coming up soon. But the min depth is literally where the mesh for the filament painting starts. And you can thicken the whole thing by simply increasing this value. So if I increase it by another 0.24, 2.48, then um, you see that it gets kind of faded. Now this is because none of my sliders have updated or moved along with this, and also the mesh needs to be 0.24 larger. So basically this is how it works. You're just going to add 0.24 to everything, all your sliders uh, and your two depths. So I can come here, and it doesn't matter what order you do this in. I like to do it left to right just so I don't forget it, I don't miss one. Um, you can do it with the mouse wheel, or you can do it with the arrow keys. You can hear me hit this. One, two, three, four, five, six. What the heck just happened there? Oh, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still in there. Okay, let me click on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Click on this one. Well, that went down one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'll show you with the mouse wheel. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one's just going to go to the top, but you'll see it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that has just thickened everything by 0.24 millimeters. You can thicken by more. You can thicken it to one millimeter or 0.96 would be, actually one millimeter would work just fine You can with my layer height of 0.04. Um, you can thicken it to whatever you want, though the min depth probably should be uh, an actual layer height and even layer uh, increment. Um, but thicken it to what you want and then make sure everything else gets thickened the same amount. Um, if you thicken by one millimeter, then thicken everything by one millimeter. Move all the sliders by one millimeter. In a future release, I will replace that min depth with a min thickness, and the max depth will be a blending depth. Um, and then when you change the min thickness, it will float all your sliders up and down, and your blending depth won't change, but it'll change your um, actual max depth. Your max depth and your actual depth will shift as well. So um, you'll be a couple more labels here, um, but it'll be a little bit easier to understand. But in the meantime, this is a pretty quick and easy way to adjust your sliders and get the same image but with a thicker print. Obviously print times will go up. You can use slider tricks or slicer tricks to reduce that print time, but that's out of the scope of this video. Um, there are other videos online, especially Teaching Tech, who has videos on how to use slicer tricks um, to change layer heights in different areas. Um, I will note it can be a little tricky uh, when using Hueforge prints because your small layer heights won't fill in um, top layers if it's not 100% infill underneath. So, but you might go to 0.16 millimeter layers up as high as you can go and then go back to 0.04 at the right at the right swap point. And as long as it's all solid infill, the bottom will print a lot faster and the top will print just fine on top of it. So in any case, that's out of the scope of this one, but I hope this is helpful. And I will put up a before and after image here to show you now what the 0.24 millimeter uh, min depth looked like and what the 0.48 millimeter uh, min depth looked like and just as a spoiler, they look the same.